All right, it's time to show you my favorite K movie of all time, okay? Okay? And to be honest, uh, there's not really a lot to choose from this time. We have Knives Out, which is a great whodunit. And if you haven't seen the packaging for this movie, you flip the slipcover around, put it on the front side. Spoilers for Knives Out. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen this movie, but it shows you the killer on the slipcover. Love that touch. Physical media for life. We also have Kubo in the two strings. Absolutely love everything Laika has ever made. This is no exception. When this movie originally came out, I was going in between high school and college. I saw this four different times in the movie theaters, and I still love it to this day. Kill Her Goats is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Never watched this. But Kick-Ass, yeah, I could watch Kick-Ass any day of the week. It is exactly how the title says it is. I really love the first Kingsman movie. I thought the second one was okay. I have not seen the third one. Is it any good? I know I just need to watch it already. Kill Bill is my second favorite K movie, and the reason why it's my second favorite is because it's split into two parts. I couldn't pick one over the other. I really love both these films. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is one of my favorite B movies of all time. I have a blast anytime I put this on. I am a huge heist movie fan, and the killing from Stanley Kubrick definitely stands out from the pack. But for my favorite K movie, I'm going with the movie that shocked me the most when I first saw it, and I have not forgot about it since, and that's The Killing of a Sacred Deer. I don't want to tell you anything about this movie because I feel like this movie doesn't get talked about enough because it hasn't been seen by a lot of people. This is from Yorgos Lathamos, who directed The Lobster, The Favorite, Poor Things. If you liked those movies, I think you're going to fall in love with this one. And while I love Yorgos, a lot of his movies are very strange and odd. Killing the Sacred Deer kind of sprinkles that on there, but this is like his most straight cut movie that he's ever made i think it's his strongest let me know your thoughts let me know if you've seen the killing of a sacred deer it's kind of an odd pick but i really want to spread the word of this movie so yeah let me know tomorrow we got l's bye bye